Hello guys, good evening. Good evening. Hi, good evening, Jacqueline. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Doris. Good Welcome. evening. Hi, good evening, Guillermo. Welcome back to another video conference, guys. It's really cool to have you here, all of you, right? Just like ready to start, you know, like a new unit and a new series of contents, right? Completely different uh, in comparison to what we have been practicing uh, back in the past in the previous, uh, you know, like uh, topics, right? So we have a lot of things to be discussing tonight. All right, so I guess your classmates are going to get connected throughout the development of the class. Yeah, because I see like very few people uh, connected. So, but we are going to be waiting for the rest of the people. So, but let's start with the attendance list, guys. Okay, so let me see. Adi Beatriz. Adi, Adi, Adi. All right, so she is not here yet. Ana Cristina. Okay, not here. Brian Aldair. Brian teacher. Okay, nice. Carlos Antonio. Present teacher. Good evening, teacher. Okay, good evening. Uh, Mr. What's that, the young teacher? Ah, okay, Carlos. Thank you for letting me know. Okay. okay. Nice. Okay. Carlos Enrique. Present teacher. Okay, excellent. Claudia Marcela. Claudia, all right, so she's not here. Doris Alejandra. Present. Okay, excellent. Evelyn Karina. Evelyn Karina. Okay, so she's not here yet. Graciela Saraí. Hmm, Graciela is not here yet. Guillermo Eduardo. Present. Okay, good. Irma del Tránsito. Irma, or is it just not here? Jacqueline Yvonne. Okay, excellent. Juan Carlos. Okay, excellent. All right, so give me one second. Katia Maria. Katia, all right, so Katia currently is not here. Kenia Maricela. Kenia Maricela, okay, so she is not here yet. Maritza Elizabeth. Mm -hmm. Maritza Elizabeth, let me see. Okay, so she is not here yet. Marvin Alexander. Present teacher. Okay, great. Pedro Rigoberto. Right, so Pedro Rigoberto is not here. Rosalie Yvonne. Present. Okay. 
Okay, thank you, Rosalie. Uh, Susana Carolina. Susana, okay, Susana is not here. And the last one, Teresa Noemi. Present. Okay, perfect. Very good. Let me see, Irma del Tránsito. Ah, okay. Thank you, Irma. For letting me know. Okay, good. So, uh, how was your day, guys? ¿Qué tal cómo estuvo su día? Let's just start with that. Some of you are working yet. Like Juan is still at the office. Apparently, he's going to have a nice shift today, so... <laughs> <laughs> well, um, pretty pretty good, but um, I am very busy again. Oh my God, I can say, man, yes. I can say, I I can tell also. All right, but the good thing is that you're kind of here. You're gonna be at least listening to the class, so you're not going to miss that much. That's cool, Mister. That's cool. So, what about the rest, guys? How was your day? Was it good? Was it difficult? Did you get wet because it rained? Or no? Let me see. Okay, Pedro, I'm going to add you to the attendance list right now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Got it here. Okay, good. In order, you know, guys, in order to move on to the topic that we are going to be discussing tonight, uh, it is good for everybody to start uh, the class with a short feedback, all right? So basically, we are going to be talking about uh, what we're going to be talking about part of the topic that we were discussing yesterday. If you remember yesterday was a general feedback, the one that we were doing, but I guess you got to remember something, right? Good. What do you guys remember from last class? Yes, um, yesterday we, we reviewed uh -huh. The use of the review, the use of show, should, and shouldn't. Ah, okay. Also, the the expression could and good. Ah, but, okay. Would you mind? Would you mind? Would you mind? Very good. Very good. There you go. Thank you, Juan. So that was basically what we were discussing throughout almost the whole class, right? So we were reviewing basically the topics that we were just discussing during the week, right? Because if you remember guys, yesterday we finished the class 15 and basically uh, this is like another level, right? Cool. By another level, because we're going to be like, you know, discussing all things, right? And uh, different topics. Good. But if you guys remember yesterday, we did not finish checking a series of exercises that you did with your classmates, right? In the breakout room. So basically, we are going to start with that. Give me one second. Okay, so if you remember, guys, we stayed yesterday in this area, right? But we didn't check it at all. Let's start from the exercise two and on, guys, all right? So that way we are not going to feel this like so, 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 you know, like tough, just to put it that way. Okay, let me see. Cool. Uh, I'm, I'll go one and one, guys, just for you to read 
the sentences that you did related to the vocabulary that was there, okay? So I'm gonna start with a couple of you, just to know if you have already understood. Let me see. Guillermo, can you please help me out reading one of the sentences that you did in exercise two yesterday? Yes, teacher. Um, our parents teach us manners. Ah, okay, very good. Our parents teach us manners. Very good. Thank you, Guillermo. Katia, could you, Katia, please help me out reading one sentence example using the vocabulary that you did yesterday? Okay, he should be more punctual. Ah, she should be more punctual. Okay, very good. That's one of them. Excellent. Thank you. One second. Okay, thank you, Adi, for letting me know. Um, perfect, Katia. Thank you for your example. Now, oh, let me see, Carlos Rivas. Help me out reading another one, mister. We should be punctual. Ah, okay, great. Very good, thank you. Uh, let me see. I think these two people were not here yesterday. Let me see. <laughs> Pedro says a listener. Oh my God, where is everybody? Okay, let me see. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Marvin, help me out reading another example, brother, from there, from exercise two. The ones that you did. Marvin, are you there? Mm, okay, I guess Marvin is not there. Mm -hmm. uh, Doris or Jacqueline? Do you have one? Right. Where is everybody, guys? Que se me han hecho porque todos tienen la cámara apagada. Well, basically, everybody is busy tonight. Let me see, casi todos están ocupados. Let me. Okay, good. Let's do something, guys. Let's skip this one. Ah, okay, Jacqueline. Thank you for letting me know. So let's just skip this one and let's move to the other one, to this one. Oh, where it says, would you mind, could you identify it says and correct three mistakes in the requests below? All right, excellent. Let's start with this. Now, Guillermo, help me read in that one, please. Number one, and tell me if it is correct or no. Uh, would you mind moving your car? It's blocking mine. And uh, yes, it is correct. Ah, uh, okay. All right. Would you mind moving your car? It's blocking mine. Very good. Yeah, basically, it's this one, right? There you go. Give me a second. Okay, perfect. Now, Katya. Help me reading number two, Katia. Okay, you go fill this purchase's order. Ah, you could fill this purchase order. Is that correct, Katia? According to you and your group? No, not, not correct. 
What is the appropriate? Correct. Uh -huh. Correct is called you. Could you fill this purchase order, right? No, you could because you could is basically a possibility about something. Okay, there you go. Number three, Carlos. Carlos, are you there? Carlos Rivas, teacher. Bueno, yo. <laughs> yes, yes, because the, the, the other Carlos said that he's busy. Okay, teacher. Would you send in this invitation to your assistant? Would you send in this invitation to your assistant? Okay, why is that uh, not correct? No correct for it. Be what you mind, not what you mind. Let me see. It says, will you send this invitation to your assistant? Ah. Falta el mind. Falta el mind, así que es incorrect. Okay, very good. ¿Y dónde tiene que ir colocado el mind? Después del you, what you mind. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Will you... Mind right goes like here. Perfect. There you go, guys. Thank you, Carlos. Let me see who else can help me out with this. Rosalie. Number three. Number four, teacher. Yeah. Oh, number four now. Good mind ordinary um, something to eat. Okay, very good. Would you mind ordering something to eat? Is that correct? It's, or no. It's correct. It is correct. Very good. Yeah, it's basically correct, right? It is basically with the whole structure. Nice, nice. Uh, help me out, guys, with the next one. Un voluntario que me ayude la última. Any volunteers? Los que todavía no han participado. Algún voluntario para que me lea la última y identificar si está correcto o no. Solo uno, people. That's too much. <laughs> Thank you, teacher. Ah, okay, no, Abby. <laughs> okay. La última, ¿verdad? Yes, the last one. Um, not correct. It is not correct. Why not? No. Sería co... Go, you come earlier tomorrow. So basically here, the problem is the verb, like this. What? Like that? Go, you come earlier tomorrow, um, question. Uh, okay, very good. So basically the ing is the problem in the verb, right? It has to be in base form right forma base okay. okay there you go and it basically that's the way how you got it entonces ahí tenemos los tres mistakes que tenían esas oraciones right very good now but what about guys this one give me a second it says select the most appropriate answer for the questions below, okay? So in this case, I need uh, someone to help me out reading. Let me see who. Teres is busy, Pedro is busy. Let me see who else can help me out. Dang, almost everybody is working on the way home. 
Irma, can you can you please help me out at reading number one? Hmm. Okay. I guess she is not there. Um. Graciela, are you there, Graciela? Yes, teacher. Okay. Could you please help me out reading the question? Which one? Number one. And then select the correct answer for that question, okay. please. Would you mind turning the lights on? Ah, okay, very good. Which one is your answer? Letter B. Yes, I would. Ah, no, no, no. Pera, 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 pera. Ya me acordé. No. <laughs> es la letter A, no problem. No problem, cool. ¿Por qué yo no puedo la segunda? Porque no era un sí seguro. Ok, very good. Un sí contundente, right? Excellent. Thank you, Graciela. Now, Jesus, people, I'm going to be working with the same people. Ah, oh, my God. So, anyways, Rosalie, help me reading the other one. Could you order something to eat, please? Ah, cool. What is the answer? In the answer is letter B. Is pizza okay? Okay, very good. So, basically, this is the one that is correct, right? Nice. Maritza, help me out reading the next one, please. Could you request, request more jumbo paper clips, please? Okay, more jumbo paper clips, please. Okay, very good. Uh, which ones are the options of answer? Letter A, right away. Right away. Okay, right away. Very good. This is the one. All right, Guillermo, help me on reading number four, mister. Would you mind getting 10 copies of this report? Ah, okay, very good. So what is the answer? In a minute. In a minute. Okay, excellent. Very good. So, no podríamos decir, no, I wouldn't, right? Very good. So, what about the last one? Mm -mm 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 -mm. Katia. Sorry, Katia, for choosing twice. Mm -hmm. Excuse me. Could you turn up the volume a bit? The, the volume a bit? The volume a bit. Okay. Uh, Which one letter is letter B? Not a problem. Letter B. Not a problem. Okay, very good. That is basically oops. What we got over here. This is the one. Okay, great. Good job, guys. Basically, that is what we were doing yesterday. Now, let's try to move on. Okay, so this is like the other one. It says, write a suggestion about the following behaviors. Okay, so I guess you did this part yesterday, right? Good. So now let me see. Jacqueline, can you please help me out reading number one? Mm, are you there, miss? Mm, mm, mm. Okay, I guess she's not there. Carlos, help me out reading number one, mister. 
Sarah never stop sharing on the phone when we have lunch. Okay, what is the recommendation that you wrote yesterday? She should eat calm. She should? Eat calm. Eat calm. Ella deben comer, ella deberían de comer tranquila. Ah, they should eat, eat, calm. Okay, very yes. good. All right, that might be a one option, okay? In here, you got several options, guys. Aquí, dependiendo de la sugerencia que ustedes hayan dado, tienen todo muy diferente, okay? Los unos de los otros. All right, very good, mister. Thank you. Now, uh, let me see who else can help me out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Katia, sorry, Katia, help me out, please, with number two. Okay, my boss does not like to talk to me desk. My when desk? He, my desk, when he needs something, he should he shout? me from shout. Sorry, that me from his de desk. Okay, very good. Thank you, Katia. It says, guys, my boss does not like to walk to my desk when he needs something. He shouts at me from his desk. Ah, mi jefe no le gusta caminar hacia mi escritorio cuando necesita algo, dice. Él grita o él me grita desde su escritorio. So basically in there. Let me see guys. Up into my screen. Give me one second. Okay, so basically what is the suggestion that we give to this person? Guillermo, what is your recommendation? Please, what question is, teacher? Oh, so the one that was uh, Katia reading, number two. Number two, the recommendation is my boss shouldn't shout me when he needs something. Okay, shout at me. At is missing, okay? At, okay. Shout at me, okay, very good. Now, number three. Jimena and Susan take many selfies when they are working. All right. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Someone to give me the recommendation. Alguien que me dé la recomendación de esa que pusieron. Jimena and Susan take many selfies when they are working. They, sh mm. they shouldn't take selfies. All right. They shouldn't take the selfies. Okay. Another one. They shouldn't do it for not get distracted. Okay, very good, Carlos. Uh, Guillermo? Jimena and Susan should not take selfies when they were working. Okay, very good. So that's another way. Nice, nice, guys. Now, number four, it says, Pablo posts the sign. Not a good time in his office. So his team does not talk to him. What is the recommendation, guys, for that one? Guys. Mm, Pablo should not have this kind of behaviors at work. Okay, excellent. Thank you, Guillermo. Any other recommendation? Alguna otra recomendación que hayan dado, aparte de la de Guillermo? Guys. Uh, Pablo should be more sociable. Okay, Pablo should be more sociable. Okay, excellent. Now, what about the next one? It says, Graciela, uy, Graciela is here. Graciela always signs 
her emails with the emoji. So, what is the recommendation in there, guys? Graciela shouldn't sign her emails with the emoji. Okay, very good. So basically, that's a suggestion that you're giving, right? You're providing. Okay, excellent, guys. Excellent. So in here with this one, which was the last one, guys, that you were doing yesterday, we have just finished, okay, the checking of the homework. All right, now I'm going to show you something just to start. Give me one second, guys. Mm -hmm. All right, so guys, can you confirm that you can watch my presentation, that you can see my presentation? Yes, I can see it. Okay, excellent. From now on, guys, the topic that we're going to be discussing is going to be related to hotel services and amenities. Nice. So that's going to be tonight's topic. Hotel services and amenities. So let's start. What is the most relevant that we got for the rest of the class? If you have wondered. So we're going to have the review from the previous topic, something that we just did, algo que acabamos de terminar de hacer. After that, I'm going to provide some hotel vocabulary, guys, that will help you up to understand how structures related to this topic are. Then we're going to have a short conversation related to this. And then we are going to complete a series of exercises in the manual, okay, related to, you know, like the topic. And at the end, of course, we're going to check those exercises. Okay, let's just start over. Let's start with this, guys, with questions to discuss. The first question that comes in here is, do you usually go on business trips? Easy as that, guys. En los lugares de trabajo donde ustedes están. Uh, do people use business trips? Yes or no, guys. This is personal. Do you go on business trips? Yes or no? And no, teacher. No, in your case, no. Okay. Someone else, guys? Yes, but not me. <laughs> <laughs> ah, okay. Yeah, from the workplace that you are in right now, but not exactly from your uh, stuff right okay very good all right let me see it says this is another one what are three hotel services that you use that you often use right que o servicios tiene que tener un hotel para ustedes poderse hospedar ahí guys what is like the most relevant to you? Mm, room service. Uh -huh. Room service, okay. Free breakfast. Huh? If Free they breakfast. include uh, the breakfast. Hmm. Okay. Internet. Might be, might be. All right, internet. There's another one. What else? Swimming pool. Ah, <laughs> really? It has to be, it has to have a swimming pool? Yes. 
<laughs> especially in in hot days, right? Yes, teacher. I think that is important that uh, um, the hotel has um, hot water mm -hmm. when you take a, a shower. <laughs> Do you think it's really necessary to have a hot water uh, option there? Yes. Yeah. For <laughs> me, it's really important. The water, the coldest it is, the better it is for you, brother. Entre más helada esté, mejor. <laughs> but not every day, bro. <laughs> <laughs> no, man, I might understand. No sé qué tanto, qué tan helada eh, eh, o frío cae el, 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 el agua de chorro ahí por donde ustedes o el agua que ustedes, like, like, you know, like, take or grab. Pero acá, por lo general, es súper caliente. Right here is like hot, especially in the mornings, man. Así que no hay necesidad. Yes, I love. De tener así, like, 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 like a switch, right? Porque ya de una, it is like warm. Okay, there you go. Cool. So now, right after you have said like like these things, let's continue. Vocabulary related to hotel reservation. It says, let's start with this service, guys. It says shuttle service. Do you know what is a shuttle service? ¿Alguna vez habían escuchado esta palabra? Shuttle service. No, yes. Yes, Katia. What is that, Katia? Ah, como un servicio de, de transporte o de, de algo así. Ok, there you go. Yes. Shuttle service significa servicio de transporte. Cuando el hotel donde se va a hospedar le ofrece transportación. Right? Generalmente, si viene eh, de otro país, lo reciben en el aeropuerto y lo llevan directamente al hotel, right? So that's a shuttle service. Okay, so we got a sing single room. You know what is a single room, guys? Mm, es como los que dicen, como una cama sencilla, sí. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, we are talking about those ones, right? So single room is basically one a small part of suit, right? When one bed very slow and everything, right? It's, it's a straight, right, to the person. No group of people, only to the person. It's like a super small. All right, so we got another one. Wake up call. What is that? Llamada para despertar. Ah, ok, cool. En mis tiempos eran alarmas, ahora hasta llamadas. <laughs> That's crazy. Ok, very good. There you go. Excellent. Wi-Fi Internet. Okay. One question, guys. Cuando ustedes van de viaje o ustedes van a la playa y se quedan en algún lugar, ¿es necesario o encuentran ustedes una prioridad en 100%? To have, uh, uh, you know, this option? Wi-Fi? Mm, no, necessary. Guys, can you live without internet for a, for a couple of hours? ¿Pueden vivir ustedes sin internet, sin sus teléfonos, sin, sin, sin nada de yes. nada? Yes. Yes. So it means you are not dependent on the cell phone, right? No son dependientes. Que no dependen de, de los teléfonos. Cortando el trabajo o quitando el trabajo. No, taking away the job. I don't, I don't believe in them. <laughs> All right, there you go. No, I mean, might be possible. Might be possible. All right, so we got another one. Business center. Okay, when it talks about business centers, es más que todo aquellos espacios para reuniones, right? Como salones para reuniones, right? That's what it refers to. Mm -hmm. 
Let me see. Ah, yeah, we got another one. So, Katia, this is yours. Sorry, teacher. <laughs> French in the room. So, do you think it's really necessary to have that option? In a hotel? Es necesario tener una... Uh, maybe. Una... <laughs> maybe. Depende que contenga. <laughs> ¿Qué cree usted que puede contener una mini refri en un hotel, en su cuarto? Gaseosa. Gaseosas, exactly. Ah, you see, Jacqueline is paying attention. If I want to drink a, a cold beer. <laughs> All right, that might be another option, right? Okay, cool. There you go. Okay. Now we got another one. Safe. What is safe, guys? ¿Qué creen ustedes que significa safe con relación a un hotel? Y es parte de un servicio. La seguridad. Mm -hmm. Pero uh, it has another name. It's basically when you give important documents and they are completely safe. Seguro. Mm, kind of, kind of. En este caso se le conoce como servicio de caja fuerte. Safe, en este caso es caja fuerte. Right? Good. Right after safe, we got laundry service. All right, do you, do you really think it's necessary to have a laundry uh, service? Yes, it's yeah. really necessary. If we have an emergency, we can use it. Okay, very good. Yeah, yeah, all right. Perfect. So that was like part of it. All right, the other one, smoking. Oops, sorry guys. Eliminenle una. Ay, 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 se me fue la. Me emocioné escribiendo acá. ¿no? Like that, smoking. Smoking room. O sala de fumar. All right. Do you think it's really necessary that 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 service? No. Yes, it's necessary. Ah, huh? Guillermo says no, and you can't. No. Yes, it's necessary. Why is necessary, Katia? In español porque en inglés no lo podría decir. Okay. <laughs> ya a mí, <laughs> yo odio el olor a cigarro. Entonces hay gente que se pone a fumar como afuera del hotel o algo así, entonces es el hora. Ay, I mean, it's really, really, really uncomfortable, right? Tal vez no me lo crean, pero a mí el olor a, a esa específica sustancia me produce hasta mareos. Man. Débil, 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 tan débil soy así que hasta mareos me produce. Y en la was like, what? Ah, complicated. There you go. Non-smoking room, right? Non-smoking room. So what do you think is that? ¿Qué creen que puede significar? Mm, que no se puede fumar en ese cuarto. Okay, very good. Let me see. Okay, so we got another one. Single bed. What is that, guys? A single bed. When the room has only one bed. Okay. And generally the bed is super slow. I mean, it's small, small, right? Small. Exactly. Good. What about this one? Double bed. Mm. 
double bed. When the room has uh, two beds and are a little bit bigger than uh -huh. the single bed. Okay, very good. That's a double bed. Book a room. Acá no es libro a un cuarto. <laughs> so what is book? Is, is make a reservation. Exactly right. To make a reservation. A room reservation. Excellent. And then it says make a conversation. I mean reservation. Make a reservation. It's basically the same thing as the previous one. Okay. It's kind of the same thing. So, and we have the famous check in and check out. All right. So, generally, remember. Okay, Rosalie. So, basically, in here, check in, remember, is when you get to the hotel. All right. And basically, the check out is like when you say goodbye to the hotel. Right, so those are the amenities and accommodations that we generally use. All right, good. Any question with this, guys? Alguna pregunta hasta acá? Algo que no comprendamos del todo? Something related? No. To... It is clear. Yo tengo una pregunta. Okay, let's go. Pero, bueno, eh... Check-in and check-out, ¿cómo se puede traducir? So, basically, in check-in is registro. En check-out, mm. registro de entrada. En check-out, registro mm. de salida. Ah, ok. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Ok, very good. Yo tengo una pregunta. Yes. ¿Por qué en non-smoking room... It's non y no not. It's because it's a compound word. Esa es una frase compuesta. Non-smoking. Que básicamente es otra forma derivada de decir no. Ok. Ah, ya. Yeah. Yeah. All right, there you go. Excellent. Somebody else, guys? I guess nobody else got questions. So I'm gonna stop sharing this. And I am going to discuss. Let me see, guys. Okay, so I am going to chair now the manual. Let's go straight to the manuals and the page, guys. That's 39. All right, so page 39. Yeah, that's the page. Okay, cool. So, the questions that we were discussing at the beginning of the class, guys, it was basically this one. Do you usually go on business trips and etc.? Now, we have a short conversation here, guys. All right? And this conversation is basically related to a travel agency. Basically, this is a customer trying to reach a call to a travel agency. So let's see what's happening here. The agent, and then you got the name Rosa, okay? So let's start, let's say agent. Mark's travel agency, how can I help you? Mark's travel agency, how can I help you? It says Rosa, good morning, I need a reservation. I need a reservation for a single room. For a single room, right? 
I'm going to travel to Costa Rica on April 14th. I'm going to travel to Costa Rica on April 14th. Agent says, sure. Right, sure. May I have your name, please? May I have your name, please? Rosa says, of course, I'm Rosa Puentes. I'm Rosa Puentes. Agent says, thank you, Mrs. Puentes. Thank you, Mrs. Puentes. How long are you going to stay? How long are you going to stay? And then it says, Rosa, I'm going to stay three days. I'm going to stay three days. And then it says, are you going to stay in a smoking or non-smoking room? Let me see. Are you, listen up, guys, going to stay in a smoking or non-smoking room? Rosa says, non-smoking, please. Non-smoking, please. Are you going to need the shuttle service? Are you going to need the shuttle service? It says, yes, please. All right, very good. All right, guys, from this short conversation that we got in here, do you have any question with the vocabulary? Tenemos alguna duda con relación al vocabulario? Any word, guys, that you don't understand? Who is shuttle, Fisher? Shuttle service, ok. Al principio, hace rato lo decíamos. Shuttle service es servicio de transporte. But only, only work. Only? Only work. Solo la palabra. Only the word shuttle, shuttle, transportation in this case. Okay. Thank you. Okay, perfect. Okay, before doing that, vamos a ver esta. Bueno, luego cuando vengamos lo voy a explicar. All right. Now, when you practice the conversation, guys, I want you to say if these statements below are true or false. Me van a hacer esto. Okay. Como una vez hayan terminado. Esa pequeña práctica. ¿Qué vamos a hacer acá? Me van a escribir falso o verdadero de estas oraciones, ¿ok? And it has to be critical, guys. It says, Rosa needs a double room. According to the conversation, you are going to identify if it is true or if it is wrong or false, right? Good. Are you understanding what you're going to do, guys? ¿Comprendemos lo que haremos? Adi? Yes, quiere? teacher. Ah. Adi, solo hay uh, una conversación. Y acá, uh, solo es falso no. verdadero, pero de la conversación, ¿ok? Sí. Ok, cool. Dice, Rosa is going to stay for three days. Rosa se quedará por tres días en el hotel. ¿Es cierto o verdadero? If it is true, true. If it is false, then false. Okay? That's the way. Cool. Me gustaría mandarlos a trabajar y no practiquen esta conversación. It's really important for us to practice the most as we can. Pero necesito saber quiénes están como oyentes, guys. Porque ahora, yeah, la mayoría es. 